In this video, Timmy's going to be talking about private mode in Firefox. So, private mode is a cool mode in Firefox where essentially it won't save any of your browsing data. It's really similar to incognito mode in Google Chrome, which Timmy made a video on a few weeks ago, so there'll be a link down in the description to that video if you want to watch that. But if you use Firefox, you can use private mode and it'll basically do the same thing as that. So if you open up a private mode window in Firefox and you visit a whole lot of sites and do a whole lot of things, maybe you do some Google searches, then when you close the private mode window, all the history of all the browsing history that you created inside that window will be instantly deleted. So if you go into history in Firefox, you will not see any of the browsing history of anything you went to while you're in the private mode window. So it can be quite good if you want to do things and not have history of it saved on your computer. Private mode will also keep your cookies separate. So for example, if you're in Firefox on the normal mode and you log into a site like maybe Facebook.com, Com, and then you open up a private mode window in Firefox and you go to Facebook.com or any other site, you notice you're actually not logged in on there. So then you can log in in the private mode with a different account or you can just look at that website without being logged in at all. So it's quite cool if you have two different accounts for the same website and you want to log into two different accounts or something. So that's another good use for it as well. But some information about what websites you visit can still be seen by your ISP, so your internet service provider, and your school or workplace. If you're using workplace Wi-Fi or something, they might be able to see it as well. And some data can also be seen by the websites you visit. So if you visit Facebook.com, for example, they will still be able to see what you're doing on there. Just nothing will be saved on your computer. If you want to be even more private so that your ISP and workplace and everything can't see what you're doing, you can use a VPN. Timmy recommends ExpressVPN. So if you want to learn more about ExpressVPN, you can go to techtimewithtimmy.com slash ExpressVPN. But essentially what that does is it will send encrypted data from your computer to the VPN server, and then the VPN server will privately browse for you. So your ISP and everyone can't see what you're doing. So if you want to be more private, you can use ExpressVPN or any other VPN. So if you want to use private mode in Firefox, you'll just need to be in Firefox. As you can see, to me, in Firefox at Facebook.com. Then you can click on these three lines, the menu up in the top right corner. And then on this menu here, click on new private window and you'll now be in a private Firefox window. So now you can do whatever you want and go to anything you want here and it will have nothing to do with what's in your other browsing window, the normal one, and nothing will be saved on your computer. So for example, if you go to Facebook.com in this private window, you'll see that all you're seeing is the Facebook login page where it's asking you to log in. So now you could log in with a different account or you could do whatever you want here and nothing would be saved on your computer and it would all be separate to your other non-private window down here where you're actually still logged into your account. So it's really cool like that and it's really useful and that's really all there is to it. So once you're done with using your private window, you'll just need to close it. So just come up here and click on the cross and that will close it. And now all the browsing data of going to facebook.com or any other site that you've visited will now be gone off your computer. So you don't have to think about it ever again. So that's really cool and that's all there is to it. So that's what private mode does. It's similar to incognito mode. And if you want it to be more completely private, you can use a VPN, but that's all there is to it. And if you found value in this video, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below and click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool. And that'll be the end of this video of Tech Time with Timmy.